Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Azzy here and in today's video boys what I'm going to be going over is how to make good decisions within Fortnite But before I get into that you guys are watching some gameplay in the background of me Either clutching it up in solo versus duos or like duo squads or whatever You guys are just going to be just seeing the decisions that I make within game With me also going over talking about a few of them and also talking about another few things to improve within Fortnite So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please do me a huge favor Go down below comment on what you enjoyed comment on what I can improve on i do want to see some comments down there if you don't want to leave a like it's all good just leave a comment you know what i mean so so as you guys can see we've basically just come out of shifty i had five kills the game wasn't looking like it was going to be like a spectacular game or anything like that uh, i was feeling it though like i had a good shot throughout the day because i've done some warm-up courses which guys if you don't do any warm-up courses i really do suggest it and you guys are probably thinking well yeah well it's only if you're gonna play competitive or whatever no seriously if you even want to play this game just like remotely fun then go in there do a few warm-ups you guys will have so much a, a better experience when you jump on the game also right here i found myself some lovely shockwave grenades which fortnite i bless you for bringing them back the plays that i made even in this video wouldn't be possible and i probably wouldn't have got the win if it wasn't for the shockwaves in this video but yeah i was feeling all good my builds were on point i could 90 like everything was it was going to plan and then sadly my duo partner does seem to get knocked i'm not even too sure quite now what even happened but over here i decided to go over to the zip line see a kid building up marking for my teammate because we didn't actually have a mic which obviously made this a lot harder i tried to go for a few shots on him didn't man manage to do it shot him down though so kind of distracted him this kid had no idea that i was coming for him so what you do then is i basically just nine to duck tried to get a little bit more high ground decided to push over to him my teammate goes down right now I do see his teammate hiding behind this rock. I tried to go for a few pop shots. Like right now, as you guys can see, I'm super aware. I'm seeing where everyone is and uh, just trying to get a few shots, weaken them up. Because even if they kill each other, it's fine by me. Right now, all I have in my mind is trying to go for a dub. You know what I mean? Like my teammate's down. I won't be able to get his card. I won't be able to revive him. So the only thing I can do is try and get a win. So I'm trying to play as smart as possible. So I shockwave over. I didn't actually realize that that kid was there, if I'm completely honest. I thought there was only one kid. But luckily, they're not too much of a builder so I end up slapping him. End up seeing that he didn't place a wall right here, which is a rookie move. You want to place a, a wall around you every goddamn place you go because this is was this used to happen to me. And then I realized that obviously place a wall there and then it won't happen. But I end up taking this kid's wall right here. I sadly take a bit of damage, which I am a bit like mm, about because I just shouldn't have done it. I should have just like jugged him out with the edit, edited and then edited it back. But I get the elimination. It's all good. And I have the high ground on top of the mountain. So I already killed two kids from just playing super aggressive. I see another kid. I was about to impulse out of here. I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm trying to play for the win. Should I just go? But then I was like, well, but if he shoots him in the air. So I end up sitting here drinking my minis. This is all what's going on through my head right now. Like, I'm just trying to get that win. And obviously, when you're playing against people that normally have two teammates and there's two teams left, I'm already outnumbered. So I want to try and get them to battle first because it's the smarter play. Come in there, clean them up when they're weak. Yes, it's not going to be as many kills. But like I said, if you're just playing for that win or you just want to get them nice, clean kills and nice, good decisions, then uh, that's basically what you want to do. You want to be super aware of your surroundings. And like I said, I don't think I'm the best at this game whatsoever, but... If you guys go back and watch the gameplay that I used to post, I've become a lot better within Fortnite. Like I said, this is like an, uh, a week's old gameplay, and I'm so much and I'm so much better now than I was then. So I'm always improving. I just felt, feel like I can help some of you guys that need it. But yeah, this kid ended up editing it out, and just I don't know what his plan was right there. I feel like he wanted to edit the edit the cone and like rush to me but it didn't quite work out he was kind of weak as well so i ended up boxing up up here trying to find the other team i was like where are they uh i had to push them luckily i did have a launch pad right here so i should have waited for a late rotation here i should have jumped and then like went down super like late but it's okay i think these kids end up getting one shot off at me so right now i'm on 100 hp okay so i'm on 100 hp I'm not looking too good. I was like, okay, all right. So this is where it's going to get a little bit rough. Come in with the shockwaves. Decide to just like build up for high ground, hopefully. 
and uh, these kids end up vanishing. Uh, nice clean edits right there. As you guys can see, like I've become a lot cleaner and a lot better with the mechanics of Fortnite, like the building and stuff like that. So it's all going well. You know what I mean? These kids were on top of the mountain, so I was like, great. The, uh, the roles have been reversed. I'm just going to have to build up. Hopefully they try and push me. I have the circle. A kid does try and push me. I'm, I believe a kid does try and push me, but I'm always looking for like another way out. I don't want these kids to find me. I end up placing traps just to scare them off a little bit. You know what I mean? If you're in a gunfight and you hear traps, you guys are probably going to be like, whoa, where's that trap? Let me try and locate it before I rush in there. Uh, end up editing down, which does save me HP. End up retaking the high ground on this kid, or at least try and couldn't do it impulse out of there. But yeah, I end up coming back to the gunfight. I was just going to try and heal up, realize I have no heals. Retook the high ground on these kids. I believe they dropped down, and I feel like they was trying to break me down or something like that. But uh, I just stuck up here at like 26 seconds before the circle was coming in. So I knew I was all good at this stage. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm already filling myself with confidence. I'm like, yo, these kids are kind of weak. There's two kids left. I've got the high ground. They're going to have to push circle. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a few shots on them. So right now, I feel like, yes, I'm going to get this win. You know what I mean? I, I beamed that kid even more. So I was like, boom, this kid hope is hopefully going to die to the storm. If I can hold him off for a little bit, that was like my main objective right now, was just to hold him off from going into the circle. So even if they take storm damage and die, I'm still getting that dub. You know what I mean? If, if, if that's all you want, then this is how you want to play. Then this is kind of what I've done. This was my second game on, bearing in mind, guys. Respects to my duo partner for watching me, though. But I end up coming up here, jumping on the zip line. I shouldn't have jumped off here because this kid... I didn't predict this kid to take a launch pad and actually get through there. He phased through his person's wall, which... Fair play. I was like, damn, I might actually lose this now. Kids up here, kids down there. End up build battling this kid. He blocks me off, so I retake the high ground on him. He blocks me off again. I was like, okay, this is going to be one of them fights. Hopefully his teammate doesn't come. Boom, his teammate gets knocked. Even more adrenaline now. I'm like, yo, let's just go. It's just me and him. There's no need to, like, worry. There's no need to panic. End up dropping down. This is a very good strategy that you guys do want to also learn within creative if you guys don't know. Jump down, end up uh, hitting him for 80. And uh, there was the win. Like I said, I rounded off at 10 kills, which is quite nice because if I would have got any less, I probably wouldn't have ended up posting this video. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Um, if, you do, if you guys do want to see any more videos where I actually go in depth of how to make good decisions in like a 1v1 battle then please do let me know i just decided to make this video like i said i've got like a bunch of gameplays and i didn't really know what to do with them so i'm just going to upload the nice bits of them and hopefully you guys did enjoy it's been your boy aaron or azzy and i'll catch you guys in the next one it's a peace out